Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another Warbots video and we're checking out drone microchips today. I know a lot of people get confused on these, so what we're going to do is take a look at each slot type separately. I'll make a video for each one and throw these on a playlist. Hopefully this will help you understand what chips do what and which ones are good. So we're going to try and look at every single chip for every single slot type. All right. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and look at the diamond symbol chips, which are your repair chips. All right, these are actually really nice. I like these a lot. So we're going to look at all the chips, and we're going to tell you what you do, what they do, and whether or not I like them. Remember, there will be a video for each chip slot on a playlist that you guys might want to check out. So this is one of my favorites right here, the On Mild Damage Fix. Every time you take 70,000 damage, Within five seconds, this is gonna come on and repair a nice part of your durability. Now, there's two types of chips. You got your percentage and the one that does not show the percent sign. The one that does not show the percent sign is better for your lower hit points. Instead of a percentage, it gives you a specific amount of hit points back. The one with the percentage is good for your tanks like your Fenrir or something like that. Now, you wouldn't wanna run the, the percentage one on something like a uh, Loki or uh, Aries that has the low hit points all right because think about this if you have a million hit points 18% hit points back is going to be huge if you have a hundred thousand hit points 18% hit points back isn't going to be anywhere near as much so that's the difference between the ones with and without the percent they, they both do the same thing except for one at 75 at 70,000 damage gives you a percentage the other one at 70,000 gives you a set amount back, okay? So the main difference on the ones that have the percentage and the ones that don't have the percentage, remember, the one with the percentage is great for the higher hit point robots. The ones without it is great for the lower hit point robots. All right, so we're going to go ahead and check out the after phase shift fix. If you're running a drone or a robot with a phase shift module on it, Every time you come out of the phase shift, you're going to repair a portion of your health. This is a pretty nice chip. All right, I like this one a lot. It's not one of the best. There's a few chips that are better than this one, but this is very helpful if you're running a phase shift. Next, we're going to check out the on repair fix. So every time your robot heals 40,000 durability over a five second period, this will repair even more of your health. So this is the one without the percentage. This one does 60,000 health. The other one does a nice big percentage of health. Again, this one is for your squishy robots. The percentage one is the for the tanks, but they do both do the exact same thing, okay? Um, these are really nice on any robot that has a decent amount of hit points. So anytime you use a repair or advanced repair, if you get at least this much back, all right, or I think it even works maybe if your, your teammate heals you up. But if you repair enough damage over five seconds, this kicks on and, re and fills up your bar even further. These are nice chips to have, okay? These are nice chips to have. And this is the same chip with the percentage. This one gives you 35% back. So like I said, man, one's percentage, one set amount. Both awesome depending on what you're running. Now you've got your high damage fix and your high damage fix percentage. All right, you guys know the deal with that. These ones require you to take 100,000 damage within three seconds, and this will repair a huge portion of your health. Bottom line, though, I would not use one of these on anything that doesn't have gigantic hit points because having to take 100,000 damage in three seconds, that only really happens during a team fight when there's two or three or four robots shooting at you all at once. But these are actually very helpful on the right robot. Now we have the low durability fix. These are really nice as long as you're not running a last stand. When you're in last stand, you cannot repair your durability. So you would be wasting a lot of this uh, repair here if this, this pops on at the same time as your last stand. These are nice chips, but not one of the ideal chips. Now, if you're not running the last stand this might be a nice chip for you if you are leave this one alone next we have one of the brand new chips that just came out this one's called the on kill fix percentage so every time you kill another robot you're going to repair some of your durability i don't have any gold ones on this i just got the purple ones but 
that's pretty much the deal. Get a kill, repair some durability. If you get a lot of kills, this might be something you want to look at. But I think some of the other chips would actually be better than this, unless you're one of those guys that has 30 kills at the end of the game type of deal. You know what I'm saying? And I think that pretty much covers all of the repair chips. Remember, all right, it's a big difference between the, the fix and the fix percentage chips, all right? Get the one according to what type of robot you're running. And that pretty much covers all the current chips in the game as far as the, uh, the, the diamond slots, all right? Let's go do a little bit of gameplay, and that's going to wrap this video up. Hopefully this one helps. And remember, if you want to check out the playlist, we're going to have a video for each one of these chip types in that playlist. All right, so let's go get into some gameplay. All right, so let's get into a little bit of gameplay. I actually put two stings and two magnetars on this blitz, and I've never tried that before. It might be kind of interesting. So let's go see how that works out. All right, let's go ahead and grab him and let's run for probably the uh, the center beacon over there. I'll tell you though, Blitz feels so slow after playing some of these other robots. We got a 600 meter range. Oh, there goes the targeting system. So let's try and womp on the shell. He's going to go ahead and hide. And I might need to stay on over here. Let's suppress that guy if we can. to take him out we want to take him out someone's already got that they're about to lose it though so I am gonna go ahead and run over there yeah so far this is a really nice setup they got a jumping Falcon really like this surprisingly hopefully I got him with the suppression I know that guy's coming to steal our stuff so let's get on up here get on in here I don't know where that's coming from but I don't like it man I'm frozen I'm slow let me in oh cool we already got a guy over there I didn't realize he was here so I'm glad he spawned in yeah I got him with the suppression somebody locked me down though that nasty falcon go run over this way Get these guys there two falcons or is that all the same guy i don't care where i go someone's hitting me it's getting old stop hitting me you nasty red people stop it why you gotta be so mean red guys is mean today it's shooting me guys it's shooting me stop that whoa it's got broken weapons <laughs> oh check it out I haven't seen that one in quite a while, but that, that's always a fun glitch there. Some glitches are kind of cool, you know, but uh, glitches like that, they don't really mess up the gameplay. They're just funny. All right, we've only got two beacons. I'm going to go after this one back here, I think. Let's go ahead and hit that healing module. That should make me almost invincible. Oh, crap, it's a hawk. No, I'm going to hit my last stand. All right. I'm going to hit my last stand. I'll tell you what, this Blitz is doing crazy good, though. Now nah, you're in for it, man. Now nah, you are in for it. This thing's doing great damage, but unfortunately, I think they, I think I just got got as War Machine, let's say. I just got got. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to come in over here with my Fenrir. I'm gonna have to come in over here with my Fenrir and just burn this dude up. Am I not hitting? Well, yeah, I was hitting his shield. All right, you're not taking this beacon back, dude. This beacon's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. My beacon. You can't have it. Da, 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 da. All right. He's got me with the EMP. I need to put a control resistor module on this dude. That would be a good idea. I know I have a c control resistor on somebody. All right, let's burn him up. Let's burn. Oh, he's got the purple shield. There we go. Burn him up. Later, dude. Now, I know someone's probably going to spawn back here. Yep. So I don't want to leave this beacon unattended because they might be able to get it back if I do that. So we have a little scorpion here. 
And I know he wants his beacon back, but we're not going to give it to him. All we've got to do is hold three beacons, guys. Three. And my little Fenrir is just kind of like, oh, heck with you, Scorpion. I don't care. I'm not worried about you. I'm just going to stay over here. I'm going to hang out on this beacon, and you can't have it. Oh, no, we're losing some beacons. Not good. Not good. Now, I know he's about to jump any second now. He's trying to shoot me from around the corner. There he is. I guess not. We're that was weird. Did he jump and then come back instantly? Ah, Mr. Aljun. Prepare for landing, sir. All right. Torch time. That was a bad move on your part. That's right, Mr. Fenrir is going to get you. That scorpion is just kind of like, hey, uh, I'm just going to hang out back here and hide. That guy's over here. Burned up. Destroyed. All right. Ah, oh, here comes another Aljun. Wow, they got a couple of those guys. So let's burn this one. He's not going to be able to get away. See ya. Uh, burn that shell up. This is the best thing about flamethrowers is they go right through the shell shields. All right, he's he's going to try and get out of here. He's like, I'm out. They're getting me. No. He's like, no, they're killing me. I'm just going to burn this thing with fire. All right. That out June's going to take me out, but we're going to try and get the shell first. I know I'm about to die, so let's go ahead and get it. And guess what? <laughs> I got something for y'all. Yes, I do. What? Why can't... Man, these stupid things. Oh, God. Did you guys see that? This is why Sharanga definitely... That's why they're talking about uh, nerfing the Groms, guys. That's why they're talking about nerfing the Groms. Now that guy can't hit him. That's the problem with the shotguns. If someone can get close to you like that, they you can't uh, they can't hit you or you can't hit them. That's another thing they should really fix on all the Titans. I mean, I died because my weapons pointed straight down at the ground instead of aimed at the enemy. Die to 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 die. Alright, come on, target them, target them. Let's go up the little hill. I really shouldn't be running in on a, a Titan like this, but I got a pretty hefty shield. Alright, let's get, get on over this way. Ooh, that's a hawk. Try and hit him with the EMP. I don't know if it worked or not. I think it did. And my shield's busted. I'm gonna come over this way a little bit. He must have been, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and... I got a shield popper here. EMP this dude. See if we can take him out. He's suppressed right now. I'm probably gonna end up dying. I'm gonna try and get back behind these guys and steal this beacon back. Oh, they got me. They got me. So let's go ahead and come in on our home base. Let's get our Fafnir out. Let's stomp this guy real quick. He's stealing our home beacon. I'm gonna get up in the air. I'm gonna shoot the Nodens. Man, he got over here quick, didn't he? Nodens normally isn't that fast. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, kill the Nodens. We're gonna get our beacon. We're gonna go get that beacon back again. Let's go, little guy, go. My beacon. All right. All right. So as soon as we grab this one, I guess we'll go grab that one all the way back there, if we can make it. All right, let's go. I think we can make it over there as long as, uh... As long as all the other robots don't die first, we're going to get that beacon. I feel slower than normal today, and I'm not really sure why. 
it seems like he used to fly much faster. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. I don't have the boosters running for one thing. How are we losing beacons? I don't even see the enemies. Where are they at? It says there's two enemies on the board, but there's none to be... There's one all the way back there. Oh, where, what in the world? I guess if they're over a thousand meters away, you can't see them, huh? This is not good. I'm the only person left. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I guess we lost. I guess we lost. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that game. It was a lot of fun. I can't believe we lost, but you know, that kind of thing happens. Came in second place, not too bad, and hey, we will catch you next time, alright? See ya, thanks for watching.